Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi. Let's talk about ZK Sync and why it's one of the most exciting Ethereum scaling solutions right now. Nothing I say in this video is financial advice. Now, let's get into it. First, a brief bit on what exactly ZK Sync is. ZK Sync is an Ethereum scaling solution. Like I mentioned before, it's a layer two, but unlike most layer twos that are currently on the market, it uses something known as ZK rollups to scale Ethereum. The ZK and ZK rollup stands for zero knowledge, and that's because ZK rollups use a cryptographic technique known as zero knowledge proofs to scale Ethereum. And without getting into all the technical details, basically what they do is they allow you to have most of the security of Ethereum with gas fees that are 90 to 95% lower by batching transactions together. And you might be wondering what exactly is the difference between ZK sync and existing rollups like Arbitrum, like Optimism, two projects that I love. And the answer is that this is a different technique for scaling. And although you can debate the merits of each technique, Ethereum founder Vitalik Buterin has himself said that in the medium term to long term, ZK rollups will win out in all use cases as ZK snark technology improves. And that is a direct quote. So basically, Vitalik himself is predicting that in the long run, ZK rollups are the end game for Ethereum scaling. And ZK Sync itself has actually already been out for a couple of years with a few applications on the mainnet, but ZK Sync 2.0 is what's launching soon. And what makes ZK Sync 2.0 so revolutionary is that it's what's known as a ZK EVM. In the past, ZK rollups have not been Ethereum compatible. Funny, right? Because it's an Ethereum scaling solution, but applications that were deployed on ZK rollups in the past had to be rewritten in different coding languages. ZK Sync 2.0 will support Solidity, will support Viper, the two languages that are currently used for Ethereum smart contracts. So basically, applications that are already on Ethereum will be able to seamlessly redeploy to ZK Sync 2.0. And so why exactly are we talking about this now? Well, just this week, ZK Sync launched its baby alpha phase. We are here, as you can see in this diagram, and this is the first phase of their mainnet. So you can't access the ZK Sync 2.0 mainnet right now. In a bit, we'll talk about how you can access the 1.0 mainnet. Uh, but this is the first phase in which they are testing out their new ZK Sync 2.0 mainnet. And then later this year, they will be launching their FAIR onboarding mainnet, which is basically applications that have already been pre-approved will be able to launch. So that's when we'll start to see an ecosystem. And then the full launch will come either at the end of this year or early next year when anyone can launch an application on ZK Sync. And you can see they have some continued plans for the future right here on this roadmap. And if that's not cool on its own, let's talk about some of the projects that are coming up soon in the ZK Sync ecosystem, because this is one of the things that really attracted me to this project myself. They have over 150 dApps that are getting ready to launch on ZK Sync when ZK Sync 2.0 finally goes live. And some of these are probably dApps that you've already heard of. Uniswap is deploying on ZK Sync, and Aave recently passed a community vote, recently meaning earlier this morning, to deploy on ZK Sync v2. So that's two of the biggest DeFi applications already preparing to launch on ZK Sync. At this point, you're probably wondering, why does this matter to you? And how can you take action on all this information? Well, we're in luck because there is not a ZK Sync token yet. And although the ZK Sync team has stated that there will not be a token when they launch, that doesn't mean that there won't be a token in the future. And by interacting with the ZK Sync 1.0 mainnet now, and the ZK Sync 2.0 testnet, you set yourself up to potentially receive that ZK Sync airdrop. Additionally, a number of DeFi protocols on the ZK Sync 2.0 testnet have either already confirmed they'll be doing airdrops or they haven't officially said how they're going to distribute their tokens. So by using these protocols on testnet now, you can set yourself up to potentially receive some very lucrative airdrops in the future. So let's talk about how you can do this. First thing you'll want to do is use the ZK Sync 1.0 mainnet. So this is already live and you can do this straight from your MetaMask wallet. You will go to wallet zksync.io and then you connect your wallet and then you can top it up with ETH either by buying crypto with a credit card, transferring it from an exchange or bridging it from the Ethereum mainnet. And I tried this myself. It was pretty simple. And then once you do it, you have to verify your account. This is sort of a ZK Sync specific thing and that costs around one to two dollars. And then once you are here, you can mint an NFT so that's one way to interact with the ZK Sync 1.0 mainnet. And then you can also trade on ZigZag Exchange. ZigZag Exchange 
is a DEX that's already live on ZK Sync 1.0. And if you are here, be sure that you are using ZK Sync and not Arbitrum because this DEX is on both ZK Sync 1.0 and Arbitrum. Once you've done this, you will want to start interacting with the ZK Sync 2.0 testnet. And this is where things get a little more complicated, but this is probably where you'll find the most lucrative opportunities. First thing you'll have to do here is you will have to add the ZK Sync 2.0 testnet to your MetaMask. So to do that, go to chainlist.org. This is where you can find any networks you want to add to your MetaMask. Type in ZK and you will see ZK Sync Alpha Testnet, also known as the ZK Sync Gorly Testnet. So you connect your wallet and you then click on Add to MetaMask and it will take care of that for you. Once you are on here, you will go to portal.zksync.io and click on Go to Faucet to get some testnet funds in your ZK Sync Testnet wallet. This will require you to post on Twitter from an account that is not new and that does have an avatar. A little bit annoying, I know, but that's how you get funds from the faucet. And then you can start playing around with these other testnet applications. First of these applications is 1KX Exchange. 1KX Exchange is coming to ZK Sync and they have actually already confirmed an airdrop. So you'll definitely want to check out this one. And by the way, I'll link all of these applications down in the description. Next one you'll want to use is ZKX. This is another decentralized exchange and they have also already confirmed an airdrop. So start using your testnet tokens on these different protocols, preferably more than once to ensure that you qualify for the airdrop. Next one you'll want to check out is Mute. Mute is a ZK rollup DeFi platform. They have been building on ZK Sync for a long time now and they actually already have a token that's live. So they're not gonna do an airdrop as far as I know, but you can check out their Mute token if you're interested. Uh, that's not an endorsement of the token or not. This is a review of the token but they have been preparing to go on ZK Sync for a while, and I know that they are already whitelisted for the next phase of the ZK Sync 2.0 mainnet launch. Next thing you'll want to test out is SyncSwap. Again, another DEX. So there's a lot of DEXs that are preparing to launch on ZK Sync. I don't really know which one's going to win out, but I want to prepare myself to benefit whichever one wins out. Next is MES Protocol, another order book based DEX powered by ZK Rollups. So this is going to be on ZK Sync as well. And one thing that's interesting is that several of these protocols that are launching are using this order book model. And that's something that wouldn't be possible on Ethereum mainnet because it's too computationally expensive. So speaking to the scalability and power of ZK Sync. Next one you may want to check out is Trustless.Fi. This is a borrowing and lending platform that's launching on ZK Sync mainnet when that goes live. If you do all these things, you should be very prepared for the ZK Sync 2.0 launch. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. Till next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.